Ether one. Um, yeah. Also, I did some research on the game. It's ag um, It's not essentially. It's not. It's not a traditional horror game. It's um, it's focused on um, dementia or Alzheimer's or whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah. You found one, a memory fragment. Good work. All right then. A ribbon. This must be Jean's representation of them in her mind. Okay then. But it's more, it's not a traditional horror game. Traditional horror games focus on jump scares and dark areas and such. Whereas this focuses more on the, the, you know, the horror of slowly losing your memory and, you know, slowly, you know, pretty much descending into madness in a way. No, I wouldn't say madness. I'd say, I don't know. Because technically you wouldn't know you're forgetting. Like, I guess, I don't know how to put it. Um, I actually have... A quote up from it right now. Um, this is a quote from GameChurch.com. Most horror games only focus on jump scares, tense environments, and nightmarish creatures. That's why either one stands out so much. It deals with something real. When, it's, when it's, it talks about that, it talks about you know dementia and Alzheimer's and such, which I think is, you, you know, most horror games don't do that. So I, I, that's probably like one of the reasons I really love this game. It's not a you know, it's not it, it's not a horror game traditionally in a way i don't know how to put it hello i don't think anyone's here hello shoe um ah bourbon uh boop uh it also says uh, let's not read that. That has plot spoilers, and I don't want to read that. <clears throat> now, this 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 is um this is a quote. Uh, where would it go? Ether One reminds me of Iris, the most terrifying movie I've ever seen. This film contrasts two seasons of British novelist Iris Murdoch's life. One at a genesis of her career as a brilliant philosophical force, and the other later in life when Alzheimer's disease rips her from everything she knows and loves. So technically, you're losing, you know, knowledge of everything, everything you knew. No, I completely disagree. What do you disagree on? Uh-oh. That was an old letter this morning. Was I was sorting through all your old things. I had completely forgotten that we had done this all those years ago. I don't know why I'm writing this. You are gone now, and I have to accept that. I have to. I'm 89. I can barely write properly. I am no use to anyone without you. Everything here has changed. No matter what happens, I'll never forget your radiant face. Even And even through part of the school was built over where we were. We buried the capsule. So remember the code. Your birthday, of course, 0911. Huh. Music box. Um, no, this is. I, th I feel like this is more kind of a thriller horror game ish. More than like, you know, traditional scary horror game. I mean, thriller, thriller is also scary. That's. I'm not saying it's like the easiest. Kind of, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can even grab anything out of these drawers. Anyways. So basically, I'm going through the memories that she does remember and technically erasing them from what I can gather. Um, well... The drawer caught me and tried to bring me with it. Wait. Nope. I was afraid I'm going to turn around. But anyways, because I know this isn't a traditional horror game with jump scares and such, I can play this a little bit easier knowing I'm not going to get freaked out that much. Um... 
Yeah. Although addicts, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like addicts. I never have, and I never will. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Hey, how you holding up? I, I thought uh, that was a different I, one. I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Guess that's someone from her past? I don't know. This is probably going to be one of the best series I've ever done on this, my channel. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have a really... I don't know. I like this game a lot. I guess. So uh, the only way I can put it. I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding, and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope. And it's very important that I... <laughs> Sorry, we succeed. Ten people. A small wedding. But moving country means making a new life and new friends. Mm hmm. Huh. You put that right, it spells a gene. I don't want to keep that. I want it. Oh, however, I will take that. I don't know what a stamp. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a stamp, but it, it works. Lighthouse, lighthouse, lighthouse holds probably a few secrets about this game, which I'm not looking forward to figuring out. <sighs> Let's see. Prod, restored prod projectors. My bad. Zero out of twenty. That's a lie. 